Hi guys and welcome to another Divi WordPress theme tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well we're going to continue on with our Divi theme builder series here and today we're going to make a custom 404 page. 404 page is what pops up when somebody puts in an incorrect URL or clicks on a link that's no longer valid. It'll take you to a page that says that this page can't be found basically. Now this is a custom one that I've built here and I just put a little button on there to return to the home page there. What I'll do is I'll go into our theme builder. Here we, go, here we are, we're on the dashboard, Divi, and there it is, new theme builder. And this is what I just created for the 404 page. So let's get rid of that. Just hit the little trash icon. And we'll start again. I'm going to save my changes here. Now if I go back here and return, we should see the generic 404 page or not. There we go. There's the generic 404 page. It, I mean, it's OK. It tells you what's going on. No results found. The page you requested could not be found. But it's not particularly interesting. And like everything else, let's make it our own. So let's go back to our theme builder. Let's go down, add a new template, little button right there. First thing it's going to ask you is where you want to apply this template. Pages, posts, articles, shop, products. Right down the bottom here, we want to apply it to a 404 page, which, like I say, is what pops up by default when you put in a wrong URL. So I'm going to check that box, hit Create Template. There it is. By default, it's put in the global header and footer that we created initially. If you want to learn how to do that, have a look down below. I'll put the links to those videos down there, as with all of the rest of these. I'm going to leave that just like it is because we've done custom headers and global headers. All I want to do here is add a custom body. So I'm just going to simply click where it says add custom body, build custom body. Once loaded, I'm going to click start building. I want to build from scratch. First, I'll put in one row with one column. And I guess the first thing I'll put in is the little shop logo there. So let's put an image block in here. By default, Divi comes with all these modules here. <laughs> and it just keeps getting better and better and easier and easier to use with more features. If you're building any sort of WordPress site at all, I do suggest you check it out. If you want to take it for a test run, you can do so from my affiliate link below this video. So let's put in an image module. There it is, image, left click. There it is, let's choose our image. I guess I just want to put my store logo in, which is this thing. Click on that, upload the image. There it is. Now, what do we want it to do? Well, I kind of, all I really want it to do is be centered. And I'm not even going to give it a link. We could link it to the home page, but I'm just going to leave it just like that. So let's save that. Okay, and underneath this, I'm going to add a new module, another little add module block there. And I'm going to say, let's put a blurb in. That way I can have an icon. This is a blurb module. And Or whatever you want to say obviously you put there exactly what you want Like I say, you put in exactly what you want. That's going to work for me. And it's image and icon. I don't want an image. I want an icon. Big question mark or something like that. So I've clicked on image and icon. Use icon. Here's the elegant, the elegant themes icons here. I want a question mark or something like that. Let's 
there's one that's the one I used before it's already put it in the purple because in my theme customizer that's the theme accent color I've got of course you can change the color in the design if you want to to anything you want Um, my text below is what we put in here. So if we go to design, I want that centralized. So let's go to text, hit the centralized. There we go. At the moment, I'll leave it on dark. Title text, I guess I'll make that purple. It's come up with it right there. So let's make it purple in color. Let's perhaps make it bold. And let's make it a little bit bigger not quite that big I want it on one line probably something like that that's fine let's save that and all I'm gonna do now is put a little button below here so um, they can return to the home page so I'll just click the little black circle with the white cross again to add a new one and there's a button right here there it's added the button right there and again the button's already styled because of the way I styled it in the customizer let's just show you that in case anybody's confused go down to Divi on your dashboard theme customizer and if you click on this is what you get and here's the buttons general setting buttons button style as you can see mine are style really ugly for this site but just so you can see and you've got a regular one and when you hover over it you can set a setting for the hover so that's that's why that those are styled the way they are at the moment so let's go back what else do I want to do with this I guess whatever we want to say on the button and I'll say return to home page very straightforward that's fine and link we want it to link to the home page so we've got my home page over over here I'm just going to copy the URL copy and put that URL in there paste control V we want it to open in the same window that's fine now if we go over to design the only thing I want to do here is pop it over to the middle alignment there it is centralize it and let's give it a little box shadow give it a bit of depth right there and that's absolutely fine now I want to kind of display this as a whole screen page because we haven't got much content here and I want to have something slightly more interesting in the background we may have to jig this around in a minute to sort of get it where we want it so let's save that just hit the little check mark let's go up to our section right here and let's make this a little more interesting for the background let's put an image in you've got color gradient image or video if you like I'm gonna put an image in I'll use the one I used before I think which was this young lady Okay, it's kind of not what I want. I want it to fit. So if I go down below here, I don't want to use the parallax. At the moment it's covering, which basically means it, it's covering everything you can see on the screen there. I want it to fit. So I'll say fit. That's fine. I think on our main page, I want it to be on the left hand side. So let's say top left there we go that's over there and as you can see it's kind of short I want this page to be full screen height of any device that it's it's actually being viewed on so let's fix that let's go to design let's go to sizing and let's go down to height and I'm going to type in 100 VH so that's 100 of viewable height which means it'll stretch 100% of the viewable area of whatever screen you're looking on so that's 100 VH and as you can see it's now sort of popped down full the full length of the screen which is what I want that's fine but I kind of want to blend it a little bit more so let's go to our content back to the background let's add a background color also 
sort of dark grey or something like that. Let's just see if we can't match it a little bit with there. That's okay. But also what we can do, if we go back to the image, they've got some wonderful blend features down here. If you just go down, background image blend, multiply, screen, overlay. Play with these things. Honestly, you can get some wonderful effects. That's going to work for me right there. Darken. But you can have some really funky effects that really stand out like that's pretty pretty effective but play with these i'm going to leave mine on darken that works for me the only thing that i want to do now is perhaps bring this whole thing down a little bit so let's save that that's our section background there let's just go into this row right here and i'll give it a little more padding at the top in fact i don't even need to go into it let's shut that down we can manually do it by going to the row, left click, and just drag it down like that. It'll automatically add the padding for us. So let's try that. We may need to tweak it a little bit more. So let's save our changes here. Save them right there. Once they're saved, let's hit the X and X out. There it is right there. Save our changes. Now we've got our 404, the generic page open here. As long as we've saved our changes here, we have. Let's refresh and hopefully our template should show up. There we go. Yeah, that works fine. As you can see, it's full width of the screen down here. We've still got our global footer and our global header on there. When we click on the return to home page. There we go. Back to the 404. Just make sure it's going to work on all devices. I'm using Google Chrome here with the Chrome Inspector tool. So if I hit F12, it'll bring up the Chrome Inspector. You've got a device toggle here. I've got it on at the moment. Let's take it off. That's a regular screen. If you click it on, left click, you can go at the top. There's an iPad. Let's make it 100%. That's fine. It's pushed that image in the middle there, but everything seems perfectly legible to me here so that's fine I'm happy with that let's have a look at it on an iPhone and like I said before I don't work for Apple it's just Google Chrome gives you these dimensions here again that's absolutely fine we can read everything that image is not too intrusive and everything works absolutely fine if you decided that you didn't want to display this image on uh, perhaps a mobile device you can do that very easy with Divi as well let's go back to our theme builder and for the background that we put in with this image here what we can do is go into the cog go to the background see the little icons up here if they're not there just hover over the background the word background in black there and they will appear select the little mobile type icon here and you can change what you got so on the desktop we'll have that image on the tablet i'm happy to have that image on the phone let's delete that image okay so if we go back still there on the tablet still there on the desktop let's save that hit save down here a little purple button and save our page changes once saved let's exit out Make sure all changes are saved. So I'm going to click on it again just in case. Okay, here's our 404. Let's take this off. Refresh. Should see no changes. That that young lady should still be there. Now if I click the device toggle down here. As you can see now on the cell phone, on the mobile phone, that image is gone. You've still got that color in the background and everything. If I put it back to an iPad, that young lady should come back. There she is. So there you have it. That works for me. So there's how to create a 404 page, a custom 404 page using the new Divi Theme Builder. One thing I will say is some hosting providers don't let you have a custom 404 page you might want to contact them 
um, you can it's very easy to change it on a lot of them you just need to add a little entry in your HT access file but check with your hosting provider M most do some don't so I just wanted to make you aware of that so I hope you've enjoyed that video and found it useful if you have please give it a thumbs up share comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you're interested in web development take a look down below we've got some great free web development courses down there as well as some premium courses with some huge discounts for our YouTube subscribers so do check it out once again this has been Jamie from system 22 and webdesignandtechtips.com thanks for watching have a great day